Okay, uh, hi everybody. I'm just doing a quick follow-up video to uh, the retiming of the valves on this T160 because there's a lot of questions of that being thrown up uh, from the videos I've done and I'll try and address all the issues and questions that have been uh, raised. So first of all, my apologies. Uh, in the first video, I think I said you need to set the piston to top dead center on the compression stroke, which is completely wrong. I meant you set the piston to top dead center on the next stroke, which is the end of the exhaust stroke. So the piston is coming up and the exhaust valve is open. When the piston gets near the top, the exhaust valve begins to close, but it doesn't actually close until after the piston starts going back down, it doesn't fully close. And as the piston gets to the top, the inlet valve starts to open, ready to open fully as the piston goes down. <clears throat> so top dead center on the exhaust stroke, you'll have both valves very slightly open. The inlet valve just beginning to open and the exhaust valve just beginning to close. And that's, that's what you're measuring. So you want top dead center on the exhaust stroke, not on a compression stroke, number one. Uh, what else we've got, number two. Um, then people have asked me about um, why don't you use degrees and so on. <clears throat> well, you can use that method, but it is generally accepted to use that measurement method that we used with the dial gauges, etc., because it is far more accurate. And it's also for that reason that we use a dial gauge on the top of the piston to determine top dead center. Because when the piston goes up, it will go up to top dead center and then it will sit there for about a few degrees of turn, it won't move, and then it'll start coming down. So you've got to work out exactly where top dead center is. Now, if you use like a plunger gauge in the spark plug, that will go up and it will tell you where top dead center is, but not exactly, because as I say, there's that couple of degrees either side where the piston crown won't move. It's got a special name, someone did tell me, and I've forgotten, uh, the sort of dead, dead center or something, where where the piston doesn't actually move, it comes up and then it stays still and then it goes down. And so that's why, again, we use the um, um, dial gauge so we know exactly where top dead center is. Uh, the next thing, oh yeah, so the main, then one of the main questions is someone wrote in and said, well, look, uh, uh, someone said, where do you get this 150 thou from? And then someone else wrote in and said, I've just looked in the manual and it says the valve should be between 125 and 135 thou. And indeed, I've checked the manual and that's what it says. Now, I, I honestly can't tell you, but I do know that the optimum is between 140 and 150 and as near 150 as you can get without going over. Now, the person that initially uh, I, I found out about it was from Jack Sheemans. Now, Jack Sheemans was a big factory mechanic at, Tri at Triumph. He helped develop the Trident. He was head of the racing works when the racing was going ahead. And, uh, you know, he knows, you know, he, he, he literally built the engine. So, um, you know, he knows his stuff. Now, why he says 150, but in the manual it says 125 to 135 thou measurement, I'm not, I'm, I don't know. I can only think that what it says in the manual is what it was set at the factory, which is 125 to 135, which is generally what they are. That's a general factory setting, but that's not the optimum setting. So I can only think that the manual says, you know, what they were set at. But the optimum setting is between 140 and 150. Uh, how, why people have asked, you know, degrees and that, I don't know. In the manual, it does give the degree setting for the 125 to 135 um, thou. It gives you it in both degrees and in thousands of inch, but it does make it clear that you really want to use a thousands of inch, the dial gauge method, because that's so much more accurate than trying to do it with degrees, etc. Hopefully that's everything, and I hope that's made things a, a little bit clearer.